Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Listen, listen to me. In 2005, I had a vision. And in that vision, the Lord began to show me the coming move. And this is what I saw and is consistent with scripture. I saw people in Asia like young people and I saw fire just dropping on one then spreading to another, then spreading to another, then spreading to another. In another vision, I saw Europe, like the map of Europe, and it looked like a rotting fruit, a fruit that was becoming rotten. And all of a sudden, at the speed of light, there were people who were largely black-skinned, just came there and they were doing something to the fruit. It was strange, but it was like, how do I put it now? They were adding something to that fruit that was stopping it from rotting. Even the ones that were already rotting. I knew that this was the move of God. You see, these missionaries from Europe and the US, they brought the gospel. That gospel was a seed, the parable of the talents. He gave unto one five talents. He gave unto one. It should not remain like that that rejected stone for many years in the midst of our governmental failure and all that has been going on there has still been a making and now there is the harvest we are taking it back to these regions but we are not giving them the way they brought it to us for it will be an error to give them the same thing they gave us most of them did not understand the gospel of the kingdom they only understood the gospel of salvation that reveals the love of the father in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ but now we are taking by the grace of God the whole counsel of God through the election of grace these people from a land whose rivers divide weak in themselves Pastor Dele God is going to start sending many people from this nation believe me across Europe across Asia across don't be surprised if it's you you keep planning before his voice comes but i assure you there will be a lot of interruption of men's programs and for some of you you will doubt it because it was not in what he told you yesterday remember i told you that there are many levels of god's will there is his predeterminate counsel but there are people who have failed god in those regions he will he, he needs a testament for his name so god will have to bring certain people and say you know what let me add to your assignment it was not in the original blueprint I'm speaking to you prophetically. God is going to be raising people by the Spirit. They did not have the desire to have maybe branches and so on and so forth. But God will start moving them again. Go to this region. Take the harvest. It's a seed of gratitude to them. Listen. There were many things they didn't know. But some of them left their comfort for life. They waved their wives and their children goodbye and they never saw their dead bodies. They came to Africa and brought the gospel. Now that God has walked in us, oh rejected stone, hear me. Rejoice not over me, he said. For while they were laughing at us, while they were mocking us and saying Africa will not rise, the spirit of God was doing something. And now God is empowering us with the whole counsel of God. And he's sending us with a grace and an anointing. All of the spiritual equippings, we are going to reintroduce intimacy. We are going to reintroduce. Right now, listen to me. I say this respectfully. I know that there are people following from the West and all across the world. I say it with every sense of passion. But there are certain dimensions that have been lost in the West and in Europe. For those of us who frequent these regions, I'm sure when you step the shores, you say, no, this, this cannot be where Smith Wigglesworth came from. This cannot be where the revival, the Azusa Street, you visit some of those places and they are almost like monuments. Hmm. 
it is for this reason God put this summit there is a trumpet that is about to sound not the coming of Christ the move of God and it's a clarion call for some of you visions that you saw decades you ran away and got a job no problem God allowed you so that you don't think he's unjust but I assure you that vision is still lingering around your head and even if it's after 20 years one day you will have to come back and answer that call again this kingdom come project as I call it will require finances is the reason why God is raising apostles and prophets in the marketplace so that our advocacy is not the marketing of flesh to buy cars to buy houses thank God for those things but they are very mundane if they do not have kingdom come there are people that God is raising oh we're getting back Kenneth Kenneth Copeland prophesied one time during the pastors and uh, the ministers conference at Canaan land he said he saw the revival the tent meeting the grace that was upon the tent meetings coming back again I know it is true Nigeria today we don't do so many crusades again for very obvious reasons because of the security situation do you see that it's not just about security it's an attack the same way a parliament came and stopped prayer it was not just it was targeting just one man social media that should be a platform for advocating the purposes of God the devil is now using it to make people fight themselves across the body a platform that should should shout Jesus with one click imagine the miracle of the media pastor Dele I am standing here ministering and nations across the world people in their cars their homes their laptops their gadgets are listening and the same power the same presence We waste an opportunity to reveal Jesus. We waste an opportunity to glorify him. But by the grace of God and by the authority of scripture, there is a move of God that is coming. Please hear me. Don't give up on your little prayer groups. Do you know why God began to bring non-denominational platforms? Because he knew it would be difficult to break the barrier of denominations denominations have a construct that even though the people there have observed the challenge the system is so grounded and it's been honored for a long time it will be difficult for him to penetrate so God came up with a strategy and the strategy is to float non-denominational platforms so that what you would easily not receive in your local platform I'm speaking apostolically now you can have the chance to now come to a non-denominational platform many people would never be filled with the Holy Ghost just remain in in an orthodox circle so God allowed them to come to a non-denominational platform whether it was a campus fellowship or some kind of meeting somewhere and they stepped into it and had an encounter today there are Catholics that are filled with the Holy Ghost there are Anglican priests that are on fire with accuracy and balance and the thing is that God didn't allow them to leave those platforms he still kept them there because sometimes the place of your pain is also the place of your assignment Oh Moses, you only leave Egypt for a while, you will still go back there. That is still the place of your assignment. This must happen before His Majesty returns. The advocacy that He will return just any time is wonderful and is spiritual. But let me tell you sincerely, it will not happen that way. Do you know, I'm glad that your pastor is doing his, his, his PhD thesis and we had a brief but wonderful moment. His intelligence is very stunning. Are you aware that there are about a little over, I think he's almost getting to 8 billion people now. Find out how many of them have had the gospel. How many of them bear Christian names have had the gospel constructively presented. There are lands in this world, this frame of earth that we live in, who have not had the gospel. I assure you. All of this is to one end. The global harvest. The move of God is not some advocacy. You see why God, there will, the move of God will not be credited to any one person. This is a strange thing. It's usually the, the, the way it had been that one person will forerun that move. 
can I tell you something? I, oh dear, do I say this? You see what happened with NSAS? Is a prophetic adumbration of something happening in the realm of the spirit. How could a move be so powerful without faces? This is how the move of God is coming. You will just see an inferno of light and power sweeping across education and it cannot be credited to a particular individual. This honor, no man will take it to himself. The Lord of the harvest coordinating the systems. So for some of you, the prayer groups, 30 people, 40 people, you think you are not doing much, but it's a contribution to that kingdom come agenda. There is a prophet, there is an apostle that you are raising. Just because you may not see it, it doesn't look like it, does not mean it is not it. There are mothers today who gave birth to one or two children and stopped giving birth. God forced them, the woman planned not to get pregnant, she still got pregnant. You know why? Because the third child has a role to play. And so... <laughs> You don't know the desperation in the heart of God to see his purposes come to pass. He will shift and change structures. War betides any man who fights this global move. He will meet the vicious, the hand of God directly. For this is a move that cannot be fought. I assure you, you may fight a church. You may fight an individual, but you can't fight his program because his jealousy is back of his program therefore as i seek to round up we are going to pray goodness our time is gone forgive me pastor daily but listen to me there are two prayer points that i want to bring number one is father what is my role in your program redirect me and cause me to be effective what is my role and what will it require for some of you, your role will require training because you will be standing among kings. For some of you, your role will require you to be sound in business because of that which you have to do. For some of you, your role will require you to contend for higher levels of anointing because of the mighty things that God will do with you. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. all those following please make sure you are praying father we pray for the global harvest let the seven mountains be filled with men and women who have been walked upon men of intimacy and power men of prayer men who have understood the patterns of God men filled with knowledge and revelation man full of the spirit guided by his grace hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point i like us to pray that the grace and the unction reserved for this season that let the windows of heaven be opened and let that grace listen to me listen to me we will never be able to push this final battle rick joiner wrote it in his book you read his book the final quest the call are we together now he saw this prophetically and he began to warn the body of christ no matter what dimension what part of the seven mountains you will occupy there is a real contention against gates and forces and many of them are ancient we will need a renewed baptism of genuine spiritual power. I thought I would have the time to talk about the spirit of power. He is not only the Lord of the harvest. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. I have power by the spirit. There is a dimension of spiritual power. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. There are forces that will leave no stone unturned to see that they wreck our lives, our churches, the gates of hell. There is such a coordinated system of onslaught from darkness and we will need the power of the Holy Ghost. We will need genuine unction 
more than just the grace to prophesy and call names more than just the grace for people to fall down and stand up we need territorial anointings graces that you stand from one region and utter a word and the spirit of grace will take that word across regions are you ready to pray father for your glory and for your kingdom let the unction assigned for this move let it come upon my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray Shebrato segebala hashanda lakatos lekete prende gede baroto soto brakata shale sabranda dosele pasku brahaskede bahashia the grace you are in ministry cry for the grace for signs wonders the grace for accurate exegesis of scripture you are in business pray for the grace that distinguishes you you are in politics the grace that grants you access above the powers that be the systems and the structures Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.